real quick give you kind of a somewhat of a tour where we're staying we're on the lake this week on Kane. We've got a really, really sweet setup. Shout out to my boy Justin Martin for setting this up. I don't know why Adrian has his hood up, but he does. But uh, yeah, here we go. Got the whole crew, J Dub, Adrian, me, DC on the far side. I think everybody's doing something, rigging something. J Dub, what you over there sneaking around with? They're doing something. I'm always rigging something. Adrian's doing something. DC's doing something. Look, look at my deck. All trade tackles. Is this a trading time? We trade tackle. Well, look, I, I got open hands, bro. What you got for me? I got nothing. <laughs> hey, I got BDS one for you, look, man. Hey, do you? I got you on. Ooh. Hey, don't don't hey, be saying hey, that too loud. Hey, bro, hey, you got BDS bro, one for me. Whoa, 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 whoa. I got to get him. But check this out. We all covered up. It's about to be a there really bad go. rainstorm bad tonight, blue. but uh, like, dude, I was dog we're straight. For an hour trying to get to this place, once I got here, I was like, "Good God!" Oh yeah, it's nice. Yeah. We ride on the lake. I mean, it's it's awesome. But anyways, I just wanted to tap in real quick, give y'all a little look at our setup. I'll show you the inside a little bit later, but this is the outside setup. Look at B the cameraman over there, just ice cold chilling. You, you cannot chill any harder than B's chilling right now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Hey, you gotta love bass fishing. Tournament bass fishing. Here we go. Kick the season off. 2022. Let's ride. Check this out. Y'all yeah. know this cat? My dog. Hey, 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 look. You can't come to Louisiana, first of all, without eating crawfish. But it's one thing to eat crawfish in Louisiana. It's another thing to eat crawfish in Louisiana with Cajun baby. Yeah. And it's another thing to eat crawfish in South Louisiana with Cajun baby. But we're just getting by this week in North Louisiana. We just crawfish. getting by. Yeah, you know. Show them show show what we're working with. Mm -hmm. Good old profit. Can't, can't get enough of them. You can't. Early in the season, $7 a pound right now. Hey, if it be $25 a pound, I'd still buy all of them. Facts. Hey, facts. Got my boy Rob here chilling too. Bill Lewis in the Ooh. building. We just doing a little, you know, we just tinkering around, man. Team bonding. A little team bonding. Yeah, there you go. A little team bonding, me and Cliff and Rob. Hey, I, and I got a special guest to be here in just a minute. My boy D-Mo here from 24-7 Honey Cam. Pulled up on your boy, man. Just to holler at me real quick. But uh, anyways, I'll get with him in just a second. But right now, crawfish time. I can't talk. Day one of practice, our only day of practice. I don't think you've ever seen me quite bundled up like this. Um, I just launched a boat. It's 30 degrees out. We're in Louisiana, people. There's ice all over my truck. There's ice all over my boat. It is absolutely freezing. Um, due to the weather and how cold it is, yesterday's practice was actually canceled. First time in my career. I've been doing this eight years. This is my ninth season. First time in my career that practice has ever been canceled. Man, it's very, very cold. And, and rightfully so, I get it. A lot of the roads are icy and be very dangerous and so uh you know they canceled practice they made their best judgment but here we go with one day of practice it's gonna be very very difficult my my temperature gauge on my garmin electronics right now is reading 44.31 you see it right there water temp 44.34 as i'm taking off right now it's cold guys it's freezing nevertheless man that's what you are dealt with with uh with tournament bass fishing man we don't we don't we don't get a chance to go oh man this weather sucks uh i don't want to fish today nope you gotta fish i'm gonna get off this camera quit talking and see if i can't go find me a bass because uh i'm gonna need to find one on one day of practice i'm in group a this week i fish tomorrow not only do i need to find them we don't have a lot of time it's literally snowing right now i have my first bite of the day i don't even think that guy will score they got to be a pound and a half this week getting back um and that's my first bite on a jerk bait i don't want to talk too loud i got another competitor just right here on the other side of me but uh man it is so tough it's um it's 10 15 and that's my first bite of the day and i don't know if you guys can see it or not but it's literally snowing not a lot but a little bit but this is louisiana people it's not supposed to be snowing so i don't know tough fishing I'm gonna get back to it, see if I can give you another bite, but I wanted to give you guys a little, little morning update. Bass do live in Lake Darbone. I just had one. Feels good to get a bite. All right, I'm gonna get back to fishing. See, bite number two. That one's gonna be scoreable. About a two, maybe a two and a quarter. Oh man, I've caught a white bass, I've caught a uh, pickerel, and I've caught two bass all day. And it is, let me tell you, 
Last time I checked in, it was 10:15, so it's right at 11. So we got a couple bites here pretty quick, um, which is a great sign. Hopefully that's a sign of better things to come. Let me get this one back. All right, that feels good. We're fishing three different lakes. So here on Darbone, it's so freaking cold, man. And the bite's so tough. Uh, I think if a guy can figure out a way to catch five or six scoreable bass at a pound and a half each, I think he'll be doing all right. It's just so tough, man. But we ain't giving up. So far, everything on a jerkbait. Um, haven't been bit on anything else, but as you guys can see, I'm here in a backwater and there's flooded cypress trees all around me. And uh, what I'll do on tournament day, I'll, I'll take I'll take my time and I'll, I'll pick some of this stuff apart, just see what we might can run into. So just have my third bite of the day, super tough. This guy right here, old school Bill Lewis rattle trap. You can't beat it, chrome blue. When it gets tough like this, it's one of my favorites. <clears throat> I'm actually gonna take a quick moment and weigh this fish. I'm, I think he might score, but I ain't sure. So let's see if I can get this camera to cooperate with me. There we go. Let's see what he weighs. Gotta be 150 on this scale. There we go, 182. You guys probably can't see that, but anyways, 182, it's almost a two pounder. He's a fat little dude, as you can see, but that'll definitely work for tomorrow. Today was one for the record book. Super tough, horrible, all day, snow, ice, all kind of stuff. I had four bites. Game day tomorrow, I gotta get back to the house and rig, but it's always a good day when you get somebody like my man TJ waiting for you at the ramp to say what's up man so i appreciate him i told him i'm gonna shout him out on the channel so make sure make sure you watch oh man. yeah i'm on it i'm on it i'm in it so we my good. dog tj him take him out he got his camo on you know what i'm saying yeah you duck hunt too no no okay you just, he just looked like that okay oh deer hunt oh he deer hunt all right he is a hunter so anyway makes for a good day when you get back kick, kick the breeze with somebody have a good time but right about now your boy's beat. The beginning. I know, it's crazy. Well, here we are. We made it. Yeah. All right, guys. Getting ready to take off. It's day one. We're out here on Lake Darbone. It is absolutely freezing cold, as you can see. I mean, I got everything on. It's just, it is what it is. It's going to be a tough day of fishing. Water temps are very, very cold down in the, in the mid to upper 40s. We're just going to have to fish really hard, probably slow, to get a few bites. So, I don't know. We got enough tied on to reel in some of anything. So... So hopefully, didn't want to run into nobody right there. About ran into that one. Anyway, got a little bit of work to do. Got to shoot a quick video for favorite rods and get ready to take off. So I'm gonna try not to freeze myself today. We just pulled into our first area. I apologize if the camera's a little bit blurry because uh, it's super cold and it's fogged up. But anyways, rolling into the first area right here. It's made about a 30 minute run. Lake Darbone's very, very difficult to navigate, so we're doing our best to try to avoid knocking my entire engine off. But uh, yeah, man, here we are. Water temp, super cold. It's coming up, but it says 41 right now. But yesterday was about 45, so we're gonna fish slow, we're gonna fish hard. Hopefully we catch them. Man, it's been a good good period. Period one's over, it's been good. I, uh, I don't know how many pounds I have, but I think I've caught five keepers, I'll be honest with you. I didn't know if I could catch a single fish today. So to say I'm stoked about having five, understatement. Uh, nevertheless, we still got a lot of work cut out for us for the day. We're actually leading right now. So that's always good, right? Uh, but we're looking for some big ones, man. I had a pleasant surprise, caught a four pound, five ouncer. Oh man, she knocked slack in that jerk bait. But I gotta apologize, guys. My chesty isn't working and i left my sd card for my other camera at the room so i don't have any of that footage on camera i know it sucks don't yell at me too bad anyways i'm gonna try to work on this chesty here for a period two hopefully we can get a few fish catches um they've been biting that quarter ounce trap too so that's another good one um but anyways just want to give you guys a quick update 
I'm about to get a camera, so this will be coming out after the fact, but I'll be on live. So stay tuned. See you. There we go. One pound, 14 now. 14, yes sir. There go my boy DC, hey. Little baby Dean, we'll take that. Cameraman come, I get a little look. I like that. Boy, that thing, he locked that up something hard. Yeah, almost, almost a two pounder. That's a good one. <sighs> we got him. We got him. It took a little, little ingenuity, but nevertheless, we got him. There we go. That's a solid one right there. Chunky. They're usually the heaviest they'll be all year long. Right now, it's like super early pre-spawn. Some folks will even consider it winter. It's like right in between. Two pound, nine ounce. Two pound, nine ounce. There we go. Fat boy. Look at the cap. Says it all. I don't even gotta say nothing. Yes, sir. Thanks, baby. Ooh, ain't nothing like when they stop that bad boy. They lock that up. <laughs> get a little, get a little jittery. That dude had it T-boned, crossways. All right, so give you guys a little breakdown, kind of what's going on. Um, I'm right here in a channel swing. I'm sitting in 15, 16, sometimes 20 feet of water, and there's a flat behind me with these pockets on either side once the water gets up and kind of floods and those fish will spawn back in there so what they're doing this is a really easy place for them to transition up to feed and then slide back out to deep water when it gets too cold or whatever so <clears throat> it's the only place i found in practice that had any form of grass in it as well so there's this i'm not even really sure what type of grass it is but there's this grass down here um it's real dirty and ugly but throughout the rest of the lake there's no grass at all there we go. Oh, that feels like a good one. Good enough. That one, that one will score. That one will score. Two pounds, three ounces. Two, three. All right. Hey, 
one bass at a time, baby. Look, <laughs> little baby belly shirt out here. Good old February Louisiana bass, a little baby belly shirt on. We're looking for a great grandmama. I should have known. He hit that way too hard. Gosh, leave, boy. Them white bass ain't playing. They hitting that so hard. There he is. Baby boy. Look at the belly on that little sucker. And then check this out. This is really cool. Let me get this fish unhooked. I wanna show you guys. Cause this is what's going on. You may or may not be able to see that, but you look way down in his throat, there's a big old forked tail. And those are those bigger thread fin shad. That's what we're trying to mimic out here with that jerk bait. That's what they're eating. And nothing better than a twitch twitch pause to mimic them shad. That was crazy. He hit that so hard. I thought he was a big one. He was a baby boy. Hey. Nice. All right, check it out. We just wrapped up the day. Day one, sitting in second. Not a bad day, but look, on some real, one of the best parts about fishing these new places are the fans. Heck yeah. Sure. So y'all go ahead and introduce yourselves real quick. I'm Haven Timms. Tell them where you're from. I'm from uh, Georgetown, Louisiana. All right. I'm Seth Johnson from Georgetown. Logan Durham, I'm from Georgetown. Micah Thames, I'm also from Georgetown. Oh, we got some more. Look, look. It's lit out here in Louisiana, y'all. <laughs> look, Lake Darbone, this is how they get down. But this right here is one of the best parts. Tell them what you, tell them what you love. I love just getting on YouTube and like watching Mark's videos. It just like lightens my day. And it's really like inspirational because it motivates me to try to become what he is. So. Man, y'all heard the day. man. Y'all heard the man. Y'all heard the man, so make sure y'all like, subscribe, and comment so I can keep dropping these videos. Like Heck my man, yeah. he needs it for his therapeutic energy to Heck get out yeah. on the lake. That's why we do it. All right, y'all. Good morning, out. folks. Getting ready to kick off day two. We out here sitting in second place, so that's a good thing. Um, got a cameraman today, kick off the day, which is always a good thing. So, there we go. There we go. And um, I'm going to see, man, if we can't go ahead and win this round. We need to have a good morning. I feel like the morning is our best shot doing what I'm doing. Obviously, you guys have been watching. You see it. I'm throwing a jerk bait. And I feel like that's the best bait right now in the area that I'm fishing. But literally after about first period, I'm just going to go practicing because I don't think that bite will hold up. So we shall see. Anyways, we're about to be uh, blasting off here momentarily. I'm going to get back with you guys. Look at my boy DC over here. Look at, look at, look at, look at DC. They say, as, as they say in Spanish. Look at my dog over there just chilling. He got to catch him a few today. Let's see if we can get him on camera real quick. They say, what you going what, what you gonna to do today, big dog? I'm about to get mad at him. You about to get mad at him? I'm about to get mad at him. We're going to catch some bass. I think I need about eight pounds. Eight yeah. Pounds really easy. Uh, eight pounds is a giant bag out here this week. A giant. You got to win your round. I'm trying, dude. We're going to see. Yep, let me just slide on the bus. Hey, I, I, I don't mind that. What boat are you? 20, I'm 27. All right. What's that? Oh, I'm, I'm settled. Don't worry. Got my other, my other boy right here, Adrian Avena. <clears throat> All right, folks, I apologize. I have not been vlogging. Uh, I don't know why. I forgot. It's been an intense period, last couple periods. So we're um, actually right now at the end of period two. I'm in the lead, so that's a really good thing. I've caught six bass, I think, today. Seven. I've caught seven bass for 13 pounds and some change. 
I'm like seven pounds ahead of second place right now. We still got period three, so can't get excited by no stretch of imagination. But uh, my little spot here behind me has been good to me. Every single fish that I've weighed in has been within a 40 yard stretch right here this week. And uh, I don't know, I might have I might have burnt her on up. So I think we're just gonna go practice in this last period, just running around and just fish the moment. You know, the sun's nice and high. So this is the warmest day we've had yet this week. And uh, I think flipping some cypress trees and maybe some some docks or something. I don't know. Might be a good look, but uh, we're gonna see. So I'm gonna have a snack. I'm always having snacks. Y'all know that. If y'all watch the YouTube channel, I'm always eating. But anyway, I'm gonna have a snack. I'm gonna get back to grinding. Hopefully, we win this round. Next time you guys see me and I'm cheesing ear to ear, we win a round. Stay tuned. Hard to leave, but I think we're gonna have to. That was weird. Oh god, I got one. Dude, that's so crazy. Dude, that was that's crazy. I don't think he's gonna make it though. Bro, I thought I was on that log. I thought I was on that tree. I was sitting there trying to get it on snack. Do one eight. One eight, one eight, one eight. One pound, six ounces. No, a little bit less. One six. You were supposed to be one eight. We talked about that. <laughs> there we go. That's a that's a better fish, I think. Yeah. So, I don't know. Let's go. One pound, nine ounces. Yes, sir. One more. One more to add to the to the deal. We needed him. Jeez. So weird how they go so long without biting and then boom, you just catch a couple. There we go. There we go. Hey, that's why you throw the that's why you throw the Bill Lewis trap right there, baby. The quarter ounce. A lot of people sleep on him. Don't sleep on him. Two pounds, nine ounces. Two nine, baby. Yes, sir. Just need to change it up a little bit. This might be the new ticket. Throwing the trap, baby. is oh, man. I 
don't know. It's gonna be close. One eight. One eight. One pound, ten ounces. <laughs> yeah, one ten, baby, even better. <laughs> Notice the spot? Notice the spot? I don't know what's up with the spot. <laughs> they live right here. They live here. I'm telling you. Give it a little break. Come back. Lock her down. All right, guys, we just wrapped up period three, day one, Lake Darbo in Louisiana, and your boy is going to championship round. I, I just won the round with these cats right here. Y'all say hello one time. Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Man. They took good care of me today. Oh, I think we ended up winning by eight pounds, but you want to talk about a grind? I think I caught how many scoreables today? Six or seven? Seven. seven. I caught seven scoreable bass today for, I think, 15 pounds, maybe. Something like that. A, a two-day total of 33 pounds. But nevertheless, it was enough to get your boy to the championship round. Yes, sir. All right. I will see y'all at the house tonight. We'll be hanging out with the fellas. Justin Martin's coming through. He's barbecuing tonight. Love my dog. He's always looking out. But anyways, I'll tap back in with you in a little while from the house. See ya. Hey, they are getting down in here. We got, we got Martin. We got Ga Ga in here. Here I'm coming right now. They calling me right now. The food's done. They done fried all kind of crappie. Grilled it. Good times. Time for prayer. It's time. It's time. Oh, it's prayer time. We gotta pray. You gotta pray with all this food. The whole gang up in the building. Yo. Yo, you know what I'm bro. saying? Look, look, look what we didn't found these boys. Hey, everybody vlogging right wow, now. You're vlogging. Like, we vlogging. Like, like, we vlogging. Like, we vlogging. That's what we do, man. Yeah. Hey. Heck yeah. Oh, man. Man, 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 man check it. Look at this. Golly. Asparagus, broccoli, grilled crappie, right? Grilled. Check this cat out right here. Y'all know this cat right here? Keep can't stay in the building. Huh? got some sour cream. No, shorter. Yeah, you and Piper, Piper. Yeah, and then I, and then I heard you uh got some French fries going to the new house. and some sour cream. Next to a guy no. You make these go? Yeah, sour cream and flour. No cornmeal. No cornmeal. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Hold on. Look, now I ain't never had no fried fish without no cornmeal. Talk to me, guy. What we got? Fixing to get mad. Now what's on here? If you think that to you, woman. You better get Three boat bass. money, bait well, money. Okay, so <laughs> give me some more. Hey, okay. It's manna from heaven anyway. It's white so, perch. It's white. That's true. That is. That's, that is tasty Water treats. Oh, that look good. All right, y'all. Look, I gotta put the camera down. I can't keep looking at all this food. I got to eat. J Dub, what you gonna do tomorrow, big dog? I got a real couple in for you. You do. I'm, I'm gonna try to actually. Win the round because Poche's gonna try to reel them all in too. That's the Poche been really, hey Poche really been really reeling them in too. Okay, so this is actually look. He said he better bring it. We got we got reel them in fast. We got reel them in furious. But the first thing we gotta do is gotta catch one more. So we make a cut. Yeah, hey, <laughs> Garrett, let's that let's, so, let's sew that up first. That is the fact. But all right, y'all. Thank you, big dog. Yeah. Hey, it's time. It's dinner time. We gotta pray real quick and then we about to get down. So I'll check back with y'all later.